everyone, it's Sherry Carroll here with Hero Arts to show you a quick idea on how to use your envelope template as a border. I've created a fun little birthday card for today with a peek through window and a cupcake and of course my envelope template border and a nice little message on top. To start off I created my own note card because I like a top folding card and I just cut a snow layering paper in half and then I scored my card in half and punched a circle for my peek through window. Now I'm going to stamp my background with some soft yellow shadow ink and my life of the party basic gray stamp. So since I've already had my circle cut out I'm going to place a piece of paper inside so that I can mask off the inside of the card and I like to work upside down so that I can line everything up. Now just inking up my basic gray stamp. This is usually a cling stamp but my prototype is mounted on wood. I'm just inking it up with a soft yellow ink. And Now I'm about ready to stamp but I'm going to leave this bottom portion clear so I'm going to turn this in a horizontal way just lining it up at the bottom making sure I have my edge completed and I'll just go ahead and press and stamp. This image is perfect for birthdays and every day. Absolutely love it. And it looks great with the soft yellow ink on the white cardstock. And while you have your supplies out, let's not forget to go ahead and stamp an envelope. So I'm just going to grab a daffodil envelope to coordinate with my card. And I'm going to go ahead and lay my sheet underneath and I'll just ink up the one edge of the Life of the Party dots because I'm just going to stamp the left side of the envelope. So I'll just turn this over and I'll give it a good press because of the seams involved in folding the envelope. And when I'm done I'll have a nice soft look and I can still do all my addressing without interfering with mailing. And here's my card with my border. I've already attached it but before I attached it I did trace a circle so I can line up my message later and then I've affixed the border in place. So how I made the border was I used my envelope template which mocks the edge of the envelopes just perfectly and I traced it onto the back of a daffodil piece of cardstock and then I went ahead and cut it out and applied it to my card. And next I white heat embossed the birthday message which was masked from a longer message and I've also stamped a cupcake and colored it and added some glitter glue. So I'll go ahead and put my birthday message in place. I'll just use some tape runner and I'll go ahead and lay this in place. And before I mount my cupcake in place I added a double bow of twine and some foam tape and I also created a little mask for the back so it doesn't look so bad when it's peeking through the window. And since I already have my adhesive foam squares on the back I can go ahead and press this in place. That looks cute on its own and it also looks great from the back side. So now I can get ready to stamp my image on the inside and since I have my circle already traced I'll be using the chalk ink latte and a great message that fits right inside the circle. So I'll go ahead and ink this up. and Center it in my circle and stamp. And now it just peeks through. And I can erase my pencil mark which is a white eraser. And the chalk ink dries immediately so you don't have to worry about smudging as you're erasing around your image. And I think all I need to do now is add a few gemstones to complete my card. I'm applying foliage mix accents to my card, both gemstones and pearls, just kind of scattering them about. And I'll go ahead and put one on the inside just for fun. And now that it's done, here it is close up. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to use your envelope template as a border. For more inspiration and ideas, please visit us at www.herarts.com. And thanks for watching.